and the stars in human form together forever. Babe, um, wait, I promise you, this is the most perfect night of my life, okay? But can I just wait like five more seconds? Trust. Short film Lace tells the story of a man, Gavri, who plans to propose to his wife, but things take an unexpected turn as she has a surprise of her own. Well, the film was selected to screen at the 48-hour film project in Orlando, Florida, United States. For years, the 48-hour uh, HFP has been helping filmmakers connect to make films in just 48 hours. Now, following the massive win as the second place best film winner at the Film of Pelosa International Film Festival, the movie will be screened at the prestigious Khan International Film Festival. And to tell us more on the movie, we're joined by Josi Chwene, the film director and Richard Lukunku, the lead actor. Gentlemen, a very good morning and welcome. Morning. How are you? Good. How are you, man? So it's good to have you on, on the show this morning. Thank you. It's good to be here. Now, Hossi, uh, producing and shooting a film in 48 hours, how in the world is that possible? Uh, I guess with a lot of pressure and a lot of practice from previous years, it's uh, something that we managed to, to pull off, not effortlessly. It was a lot of hard work, but uh, with a great team, you know? Okay. Great things are possible, yeah. Was it shot in one location or different locations? All one location. Um, from the Friday nights, we came up with a thing from scratch and then had to hand it in by the Sunday nights. And uh, yeah, all in one location. That, that, that includes uh, uh, editing and final cut and everything From else. writing it Jeez, to man. the score, everything. Rehearsals, mm. everything. Wow. Now, Richard, is this your debut movie? Uh, no, it's not my. Oh, you've movie. done you've done other movies before. Yes, yes. I've okay, done take us through your character. Uh, Garvey is a is a computer engineer guy who uh, works for a company in this world that we create. It's a sci-fi, so okay. it's really like a world that we created, and uh, he's very much in love with his wife, and um, he wants to propose to her, wants to make her his wife. I mean, he's yeah, he wants to make her his wife, and yeah. then uh, things happen that uh, I don't want to ruin the movie. For, for everybody, but yeah, you Good should trust. watch it when it comes out. Man. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. You're also part of the writing team. Take us through the storyline. Yeah, uh, so he he wrote it, but it, we all came up, like the whole crew came up. Like I told you, it's a competition. Like the whole crew came up with like uh, the, the, the story. Then he went to write it, but we were in constant communication like the whole night. Like when he does something, then he checks if it, if, if it makes sense. And then, you know, so... Um, you should talk to story, bro. You know, like, <laughs> I think it only makes sense. Okay, no, it's fine. But, uh, Hossi, a normal movie takes um, as long as six months, uh, possibly. But uh, is, uh, how is this 48-hour film different from the, the processes of making, uh, like, a long-term movie? Uh, luckily, it was only eight minutes. So, I mean, the idea of compressing a feature-length movie into that short space of time with a lot of, like I said, uh, effort... Yeah, I mean, with the, with the fantastic crew, it was, um, it was quite possible to achieve the impossible. Take us through the processes of producing this movie. Okay, so the Friday nights at 7 o'clock, they give us a genre. We got science fiction, and then they tell us which line we have to use, which character. Uh -huh. We went home, we came up with the, the idea. It was quite a while, three, four hours. I went home, I wrote it, I had it by Saturday at about 11 o'clock. We started shooting at about 5 o'clock finished shooting at about three o'clock on Sunday morning, went through to the necessary people, the editor, the post uh, crew, the visual effects, the, the music composer, and then we had to hand it in by seven o'clock on the Sunday evening. Mm. Um, yeah, and uh, we've done it about six, seven times before, so we'd had a lot of practice, you know. And since time is not really on your, in your side, I guess it leaves little room for second takes or even third or fourth takes. Uh, luckily, we planned it in such a way that we shot about 90% of it in one take. So okay. we, we did that okay. about four or five times and we went with the final one. Okay. Now, Richard, the, the movie was selected to screen at the 48 uh, HFPs from the Pelota International Film Festival in Florida. How was it received? Uh, we came second, yeah. Uh, Mbali won uh, an award for Best Actress at the Film Festival. And I think we, we won writing. Did we win writing? Yeah. 
Yeah. They won best writing and out became of over, second overall. Like, out of over 3,000 movies. 3,000 movies okay. in the world. And because of that, we got an we getting an opportunity to screen at the Cannes Film Festival because they take the top three films mm -hmm. uh, from the Lula Palooza uh, Film Festival. So we, the only South African film, there's a French film, and I don't know what the other film is, but they're all going to screen at the Cannes Film Festival this year. And I understand there's over 50,000 other filmmakers taking part. Yeah, um, it's about 5,000. 5,000? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, and we represented South Africa quite well. We came second out of 5,000, and that's from everywhere around the wow. world. So. Are you sure it wasn't 50,000, bro? It wasn't 50. <laughs> it was 50. It was only five. Yeah. No. <laughs> right. Okay, so where can we uh, see this movie? It's online right now. Um, if you type out 48-hour film project Johannesburg, it should be the first one to pop out. It's called Lace. Lace, okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, what's your? I mean, how would you advise aspiring filmmakers? Would you advise them to uh, to go this route, the forty-eight hour film, or just normal film produ produ producing? I'll tell you the the benefits of this particular project. It happens every year around September. Is as a filmmaker, it tests you. You know, it gets you to sharpen your sickle to basically find out if you've got what it takes. So I would definitely advise every single filmmaker to try and participate at least once in their life just to see if they have what it takes to, to work under pressure and produce a, a product worth um, watching, a timeless right, story, right. if possible. Timeless story. I think we, we have the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jens, thank you so much, man, and uh, all the best, day. Eh? Thank you very we much. We appreciate sir. the time. Thank you for having us, bro. As the winner of the best film of 2018 in Johannesburg, Lace will be screened at the prestigious Khan International Film Festival at the Khan Short Film Corner. We just spoke to Hossi Chwena, the film director, and Richard Lukunku, the lead actor. Remember to download the SAPC app for more content, or in case you just missed this interview, it will be made available on the app. Let's take a short break now.